Hello and welcome to this video about adcreative.ai and affiliate marketing. Here what I'm going to do is quickly show you how you can utilize some of these banners for at least any type of affiliate marketing efforts and what you might want to put in your text when it comes to actually getting a click. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link down below and if you click that, not only can you get a free trial for adcreative.ai, but you can get some credits that allows you not only to create some banners, but download some as well. Let's begin. So. For this example, I just browsed around on ClickBank. I came up with Body for Golf right here, which is an offer. And as it talks about how an average golfer fixed his tight hips and unleashed an extra 20 yards off the tee using one simple move he'd never heard of. So this is just what I'm gonna be using as a basis. So continuing on, I created a very quick logo that has to deal with golf. I like the color, so we get some greens and a little bit of red going on in there. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, obviously we're gonna be creating some type of banners. This could be for social media, this could be for your website. It's really gonna be up to you. Say if you had a blog about golf, obviously this is something you might wanna utilize in terms of maybe a leaderboard, a large leaderboard, or some of the banners that might go on the right side of the page or the actual page in the middle. However, there is also social media sizes. I like these because not only can they be used on social media, but you can also use them if you want to just dump them on a website or a blog, wherever it's going to be. So for this example, I'm just going to go with landscape size. I like this one, our product or project description. Good. And this is going to be for golfers, obviously. Let's do save and continue. Okay, so here's where it's going to be a little bit more important based upon, you know, if you're doing an affiliate marketing product, what you want to do here is either get attention and of course, get the click. So what we can do here is pretty much model what we have on the sales letter here, because when you think about it, if someone clicks on this and they go here, we want this to have some synergy in terms of, of relevance where you don't want to put like, hmm, how to ace hole in ones every hole, which is unbelievably <laughs> dumb, you know, just first thing that came off the top of my head, you don't want it to have that and then talk about hitting it extra 20 yards. There's kind of a, a disconnect there, right? So this is talking about having tight hips and getting 20 yards off the tee. So something we can put in here is going to be related to that. So allow me to create a headline and a punchline and a call to action. Okay, so as you notice at the top, it's kind of like a sub headline. I put golfer with tight hips. So if someone immediately says yes, then there's a higher chance that they're going to be interested in this. It's very basic and simple marketing, but it works. It's like, does your left foot hurt? You know, are you having trouble shooting free throws? Is this the pain problem you have? Yes, continue on reading. You can unleash 20 extra yards in your drives. Click here to see how. And of course, this is gonna be very related to the headlines. So when they click this and they see the headline, they know they're gonna be in the right spot, okay? Just like we talked about, say with this video, say if you, if you search for adcreative.ai affiliate marketing and you came to this and it starts talking about how you can use it for affiliate marketing, you know you're in the right spot. It's just a congruence thing, right? So let's do save and continue. Now let's find that image. We can use any type of golf related one, but let's do like golf swing. Let's see what it comes up with. There will be some free ones. There will be some paid ones. Obviously for the sake of this, I'm just gonna be going with something that is free. And I won't take too long to go through. And ideally you might wanna use someone a little bit older. You know, that seems to be the target audience, like having tight hips, you know, having trouble going, following through. How about something like this? Like I said, if you had one yourself, you can do that. Let's see. Something like that looks pretty good. I like how the colors match. They look great overall, I like that. Okay, let's go down to create a post. Let's do golf. And now the magic is going to happen. And once that's gonna be saved, it says reading your data, best practices are gonna be applied, conversion rate optimization is applied, creatives are being generated, and creatives are ready to be downloaded. Okay, so keep in mind, I know this is about how you can create banners for affiliate marketing. You're obviously gonna need some type of platform when it comes to that. It could be a social media platform, right? You could even use these as your covers if you want, say like a Facebook cover. Yeah, if you click on the picture, it won't go directly to your link, but in the description, you can link it there if you want. Obviously, these are going to be great with some type of website, whether it's gonna be a leaderboard, it could be a picture, it could even be a pop-up. If you've ever seen those before, I reviewed a software that was very good at doing that where if you move your mouse up to the top, you get a little light box or a pop-up and it can just pretty much use this if you want where if you click all of it they can go straight to it that's another good usage of it so as i always talk about some of these will be good some of these will be not as great it's really up to you also it depends on what your website looks like i am never a big fan of those those are like the two things that it might be a third one or three that i don't care for it's more of like a filter of your colors i don't think it looks all that great this one looks good 
But at the end of the day, what they look like isn't as big of a deal as how well they convert, obviously. So what you can do is download a few and split test them. And that's something you can do with softwares as well. I think this one looks the best. I love the green, the white here. You got the logo. Uh, the white is easy to see with the green background. You have the image there and image there. And the call to action is really sticks out with the red. I like that one. That's probably my favorite. This one's pretty good as well. Not bad. And like I said, it's really up to you where you want to utilize them, which ones you want to use. And then of course, there's going to be different shapes and sizes. If you did want something that is more fit for a website, you can utilize that as well. But I think you get the idea when it comes to it. This is all about creating banners or creatives, whatever you want to refer to as. And depending on what channel that you have when it comes to promoting it, anywhere you can drop your images, this is going to be helpful. You can even use it in eBooks. You can use it on landing pages, thank you pages, uh, specific aspects of your website that aren't going to be, say, like the uh, a pop-up window or on the right side. But those are just some quick ways that you can utilize to create some banners. I know a lot of times people have trouble with coming up with banners. This is a great solution for that. And not every affiliate program is going to have banners. Some already will, which is cool. But the cool thing is that you can create something unique. So a lot of time when a banner is used so often, so frequently by so many affiliates, people are like, oh, I've seen that before. I know what that is. So by creating something different can allow you to get more clicks depending on how much competition there is going to be with that specific niche and or product. But Hope you got some value out of this when it comes to ad creative AI and affiliate marketing. Once again, if you want to test them out, they do come with a free trial down below in that link. You get a free trial and some bonus credits for downloading some of the images that you create. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.